Yo, 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 mic check, mic check. All right, all right, we're back, we're back. <laughs> it's been a minute. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, wait, how, wait, wait, look at this. Pro YouTuber, right there, boom. What's up, everyone? Welcome. Uh, we are uh, back with uh, a video. It's been a few years. I hope you guys are good. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Anyway, uh, this video is uh, about Diablo 4. Now, I usually make WoW content, uh, and that's still something I'm planning on doing for those who wonder, but uh, today we're doing a uh, Diablo 4 video because I've been playing the beta a lot and I've been streaming it a lot and people have been asking me all the time, can you make a video, what's your build, blah, 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 blah. So here we're gonna go through everything, okay? First of all, we are going to talk about my build and then I'm gonna show you guys how this build works in action. I'm gonna go clear a dungeon, gonna clear a boss. I believe this build is the fastest clearer, at least on the beta right now. Uh, obviously, I, I have no idea how it's gonna be at max level and how the end game is gonna be, but I do plan on playing this on release as well. So for those who don't know, I am a lightning sorceress. I'm a chain lightning spec lightning sorceress. And uh, let's talk about the talents real quick, first and foremost. So this is what we've gone with. This is our left click ability, it's spark. Put one point here, and then we put one point in enhanced spark. And that will unlock you to this thing called your core skills. Now your core skill, which is your right click, the one that you're gonna be spamming is chain lightning. Now chain lightning, you max this, you get enhanced chain lightning, and you get the self bounce uh, chain lightning damage. Now I've also put one point in fireball, and the reason for that, uh, I'm going to explain a little bit later. Uh, then I've also maxed Devastation for extra mana and more damage when you're above 50 mana. Then in your uh, defensive skills, I actually have a pair of boots that give me Teleport and Ice Armor. But if you don't have that, you have to put a point in Teleport and in Ice Armor. Then you have to max Glass Cannon. Now, you also have to put a point in Nova. Now why you do this is because Nova is like essentially your big burst cooldown. You just Nova and that's to proc this thing called Mystical Nova. When you Mystical Nova uh, or when you Nova in general with this talent, the enemies become vulnerable for four seconds. It's eight seconds on bosses. When an enemy is vulnerable, they take 20% increased damage. Now this synergizes very well with the rest of the build and we're going to get to that in a minute. Uh, but first we're going to finish off the talents. Now, in Conjuration, you don't take any points anywhere here. The only thing you do is you take one point in Aligned Elements and one point in Protection. Now, what Protection does, you always got to use Protection, guys. Um, this is very important, guys. Got to stay healthy here. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, when you pop a cooldown, any button at all, Ice Barrier or uh, Frost Nova or Teleport, any button at all, you get a shield uh, for five seconds, okay? And why that is important, we're also gonna explain when we go through the items. Then in mastery, mastery is dog shit. You don't take anything here. Then your ultimate skill is going to be unstable current, which is the shock or like the lightning uh, ultimate skill. And then you take prime unstable current. Now for the enhancement, or is it called enchantment skill? You take fireball. This is why you put a point in fireball earlier. Uh, so you can get this skill when you kill an enemy they explode and it does damage, perfect. Now let's talk about the items and the legendaries. Now I've been nerding the beta, I'm pretty sure I'm the best geared Sork in the whole game uh, on the beta, but uh, anyway, this is what you want. Let's talk about the legendaries, then we're gonna talk about the stats that you're trying to chase. On your weapon, you want, when you have a barrier active, you deal 66% more damage. Now this works with that talent I showed you earlier, uh, when you use a cooldown, uh, you get uh, a barrier for five seconds. So anytime you press any ability here, you get a five second barrier that procs this. This is uh, gonna amplify your damage a lot. Then on boots, it's kind of optional, but you want something that gives you movement speed. You can get movement speed after you teleport. When you crit, you get movement speed. There's a bunch of different legendaries. Uh, and I've also opted for uh, getting skills here. Now on your boots, you can get skills. Uh, defensive skills is the only option that you can get on boots so far. Uh, the best passive, because there is a, a plus max evade charge here, uh, that's the best one, but you can also go for something that gives you, uh, you know, less 
cooldown when you attack on your evade. It's not that important, but the best is max evade charge. The best stats is movement speed, teleport, and ice armor. You want 10, 2, 2 on the beta. Later on in the game, I don't know what you want because I think there's going to be more suffixes. Uh, so, uh, but these are for sure things that you want for this build. Now, on your leg legendary, there's only this legendary right here which is an offensive legendary because pants are a defensive piece now these are just temporary pants with a temporary imprint i actually have a perfectly rolled one somewhere here yeah this one uh, with lower cooldown but i'm saving it for when i get better pants uh, but anyway you get two frost novas charges basically so this is worth because it basically gives you just a shorter cooldown on your nova now on your gloves you want the chain lightning has a chance to bounce additional two times best stats on gloves is two fireball crit and two chain lightning so these are literally best in slot uh for your chest uh it's another defensive piece like the pants uh this is the best offensive option we only care about damage in this build this build is all about the one shot uh lucky hit chance is increased by 19 percent lucky hit chance is basically a special effect on some of the skills and also uh just a chance to execute non-elite mobs when you do damage to them which procs the fireball passive uh so that's just good to have on your helmet sadly there's no real offensive options i thought for a while that you should get this thing right here uh, increase crowd control duration and deal extra damage to unstoppable enemies you can put this on a helm as you can see here but this is not that good because um, it doesn't work on bosses it literally just works on elites that are unstoppable so it's kind of dog shit so you just go for uh, extra barrier you damage an elite you get a barrier and that's pretty much it uh, on your neck piece you want edge masters uh, legendary you want to do extra damage uh based on your amount of mana that has not been spent and again this synergizes with uh, this talent that we picked earlier this one right here you try to stay above 50 percent mana you deal more damage great now on your rings this is what we we're talking about earlier with the mystical nova when you do a nova the enemy becomes vulnerable vulnerable damage uh, a vulnerable enemy means that they take 20 percent damage now here i'm also stacking vulnerable damage as a stat so I would say the main stat on a ring right now is shock damage, lightning damage, and vulnerable damage. Uh, those are the three stats that you want. Damage to close enemies is not bad as well, but I would say it's like a tier 1.5 stat. Um, so anyway, uh, you want to have that, and then you want to have uh, vulnerable damage, lightning damage. Here, damage to CC enemies, also like a tier 1.5 stat. But more importantly, you want to have this legendary right here you deal more damage to a target that is frozen or stunned or immobilized, you know? Uh, or you can also go with a mana region legendary. There is one uh, that gives you four mana for each target that you crowd control. So if you Nova nine enemies, you get a free chain lightning. It's not bad. I like the Nova more because I find myself not really going out of mana, at least not on the beta right now. So these are the stats that you're going for and also some of the item stats that you're going for. These are the legendaries that you're going for, but also some of the stats that you want to be going for. Now, we've talked about the build. Now let's talk about actually how it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to a dungeon and we are going to uh, clear a dungeon here. Uh, preferably one that actually has a boss. So we could go to like this one right here. Um, we're going to go over there and just try to clear the dungeon. We're gonna, I'm going to showcase you know how the build works a little bit how the damage works as well and um let's see here i'm also going to showcase uh the thing about the nova so the way it works now uh, on my weapon i have vulnerable damage 18 percent on my ring i have vulnerable damage 10 percent vulnerable damage 13 percent on my actual nova i have passive 20 percent vulnerable damage and I have the legendary on one of my rings for 19% extra vulnerable damage. Now, I'm too lazy to calculate how much that is added up, but it's a lot of extra damage. Now, in addition to that, when I press Nova, I get a barrier, which gives me 66% more damage. So, all in all, if I teleport, I get a barrier. If I use Ice Armor, it gives me a barrier by default. 
And the way you want to play this build is you never want to chain lightning without a barrier like this. That's going to be a weak chain lightning. You always want to use a teleport, a nova, uh, and uh, your ice armor, keep calling it ice barrier, to actually uh, get your chain lightning. Because the chain lightning is very expensive mana cost. So you want to make sure that it's always a buffed chain lightning that you're casting to avoid going out of mana. Now, we're going to clear this dungeon a little bit here. I don't actually know what dungeon this is, uh, but um, we're going to go in and I'm going to show you guys how fast this thing clears trash. So as you can see here, this build is uh, pretty good. We have an elite here. So everything is dice. And um, okay, that's where the quest item is or whatever. And anytime you want to shoot a chain lightning, you just press any skill. This build is very like easy to play, you know? Doesn't require much skill at all. <laughs> Which is the way we like it. In Diablo, we just like to hack and slash, you know? And whenever you, you actually do go out of mana, you just make sure to use your uh, ult. That's what your ult is for. That and bursting bosses. So I believe, I've seen a lot of people like a lot of people that I respect as well, like streamers and stuff, content creators, go for the Hydra build. And I'm really surprised that uh, so many people are playing Hydra build because I don't actually think Hydra build is very good because Hydras, they single target. Like it, Hydra as a, as a mob single targets enemies. So I don't think it could ever be faster than this because this is just an AOE build, you know? Uh, you're literally killing people off screen uh, and uh, I also think the one thing I think Hydra can be better at is maybe killing bosses or if you're playing like hardcore it's a safer build because you don't actually take uh, damage I'm gonna loot those um, you don't take damage when you have a Hydra up you know you just pop it and run around and avoid damage um, but aside from that I really don't like Hydra as a build and it's so far on the beta that's been the one build that like everyone is talking about, the build that everyone is playing. But I actually think that the Chain Lightning build is the best one. No, he dodged it. <laughs> um, so yeah, can I? Oh, pro gaming move right there. All right, so uh, the, r the reason why I picked this dungeon is because I want to do the boss in this dungeon. There's a boss in here. Uh, I want to show you guys how fast we kill bosses. I don't only want to show you guys how fast you actually clear, but I also want to show you guys how fast you kill bosses. Now, this is all the bosses as well. I ran into the Butcher, and uh, I can literally face tank the Butcher and just kill him uh, in like one or two mana bars. Uh, so uh, it's a pretty effective build. I've done the World Boss as well. You do very high DPS on World Boss. I don't want to pick up any of these shrines because, well, it would kind of be cheating. And uh, I think uh, the boss should be like somewhere around here. I don't think I've really done this dungeon much. But that's, uh, that's going to be the best way to actually showcase a uh, single target for sure. I actually have streamed when I done the, the world boss. Maybe I'll upload that later. But for now, we're just going to do a dungeon. Pretty sure that Elite actually just died in one hit. Okay, so um, we've got into the boss. Now, I'm I want to wait for my ice armor so we can see the full burst here before we actually go in. I do believe he's in air. Okay, one, two. So we almost died in one chain lightning. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the build. This is the synergies that I've opted for. 
I didn't copy anybody for this. Uh, just me and a couple of friends that I played Diablo with uh, came up with this. And uh, we just kind of min max. We tier crafted a lot about the talents, a lot about the gear. But you can see the entire setup at the start. And you can kind of see how it works uh, towards the end there. Uh, it's very effic efficient farmer. Uh, that's not good for this build. <laughs> um, it's a very efficient farmer, very efficient at killing bosses, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, so far on the beta, I've had a blast playing this build. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm thinking, as just a, as a future thing, I'm thinking about uh, doing more videos. And in general, I'm uh, kind of planning a little bit on what to do with the with the youtube channel because i haven't been active but in the meantime i am live on twitch at zico ftw almost uh, every day so you can always find me there uh i mostly play world of warcraft this is just kind of a one-off i might do a couple of diablo videos because i'm really really excited for diablo 4 and i am those of you who know me you know i'm a big big diablo 2 nerd um i played a lot of resurrected i'm really uh known well i wouldn't say really known but my main thing that I do in the game is trading. Uh, so when trading becomes a thing, there's probably going to be some, uh, I don't want to say guides on how to trade, but let's call them self-defense courses uh, or like classes in self-defense against getting scammed in trades. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. When Diablo 4 comes out, there's probably going to be some content for that. And in the meantime, there's also going to be uh, World of Warcraft content uh, probably when uh, the next WoW patch comes out. Uh, I'm going to do some videos with that. And uh, in the meantime, a lot of Wrath of the Lich King. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, peace out.